Pastor Lockhart here wishing you a happy second weekend in Advent. That's what we're looking at this coming Saturday, December the 3rd, and Sunday, December the 4th, here at Grace. As always, it's a very busy, active time for us. As you can see behind me with the two Christmas trees that are up, our altar guild has been hard at work as we get closer and closer to our annual celebration of our Savior's birth. These trees are beautiful. They're brand new for this year, as are the lights, so you'll want to come and see those. It's the Commitment Sunday for our Crossroad Connections Capital Campaign. I'm sure you're aware of that by now. You've received a lot of communication about it. Just to remind you, our goal is $650,000. We've received pre-commitments of about half that, $320,000 so far, and 70,000 of that has come already in cash. That's enabled us to order the two LED signs that will go out in front of the church, and even behind those trees, outside the walls, there are electricians working right now, laying the wiring groundwork for the signs and some enhanced lighting around our property very excited about that we will have our commitment this weekend you should have received a sample of the commitment form I wanted to allay any fears that people might have we're not asking you to parade up in front of the congregation to make a commitment on that day we have our offering plates up front anyway and when you come up for your Holy Communion you'll have received a real pledge card if you will uh, that you could fill out in the pew. We'll have music going on at that time, and then you just bring it up when you come for communion, uh, like you have been your offering for the last two and a half years or so. No problem, no sweat. Uh, however the Lord moves you, we're thankful for you. Regardless of what ends up happening on that day, it's been a very successful campaign because we've had increased opportunities to hear God's word. We've had those devotions four times a week if you follow on facebook we've had a daily prayer leading up to this weekend we're going to compile those in a booklet and send those out to everybody after the first of the year we're also going to have a great commitment celebration a fiesta if you will after the 11 o'clock service on sunday with some food and a lot of fun so we hope and pray you'll come for that the gym, which is also a multi-purpose room, will be decorated. Uh, and I've seen a preview of what that'll look like. You're going to love that. Speaking of Sunday afternoon and second Sunday of Advent, this will be the 36th time that the Pinellas Lutheran Choir has gathered together along with a string orchestra to present the Advent portion of Handel's Messiah. I don't know about you, but I can tell you that for me and my family, it really does get us focused on our celebration of our Savior's coming into the world, also on his coming to us each and every week in the Holy Communion, and then his final coming at the end of time. I really look forward to this particular performance each year, and I hope and pray that you'll set aside some time to be here at 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon to hear this beautiful masterwork of music. Have a great day full of God's grace and see you here at Grace this week.